Hello everyone, once again welcome back to how to hack. Today we are going to have a new session that is on, we are going to run a series on hacking. Actually everyone likes to be a hacker or like everyone likes hacking but many of them don't know how to start or how to learn hacking. If you want to be a hacker, there is a solution. Today we are starting a new series that's on hacking. So we will run a series of topics which will cover all of the main attacks. This topic is for complete beginners. If you are a complete beginner or like if you want to start a career on cyber security, you can start from the very basic topics that we are going to cover today. For working with our practical sessions, you have to install Kali Linux operating system. In our first video, I have already uploaded that's about how to install Kali Linux in your VM machine and there are various basic classes also. So but here we are going to focus on some of the vulnerabilities that can affect your life. Here we are not going to attack a live website but we are going to do all sort of practicals in a lab environment. So first of all we will study how to set up this lab environment in this video. Then after we will go for the practicals. First of all open a browser in your Kali Linux OS then after search for dbwa. There you can see dbwa applications that from the github. Just click on it. Then you can see a green button is there. Click on this green button and copy this URL. Now open your terminal. This ls command is for listing the files and cd is for changing the directory and I am moving to one of my folder in my documents. We have to first of all download this dbw from the github to the location var www and insert that html. So this is a location where we have to download the file or we can download to the download directory then we can move to the HTML folder in the var folder. I am removing all of the files which is pre-installed in the HTML folder. Now you can see HTML folder is empty. Now I am downloading. To download the file just type git clone. Just type git clone then paste the URL and press enter. Now the file is been downloaded into the exact folder that is HTML. Git clone is the command we use to download the files. Now I type ls. You can see the file is already downloaded. ls means list. You can see it listed the folder there dbw. So we are moving to dbw cd dbw. And again I am listing. So the folders and files are already there. Now we have to make some new we have to make some modification to this file. So I am moving back by typing cd space double dot so that as I am moving back to the previous directory. Now I am typing chmod. So first of all we can see ls minus la means they are listing all of the file. So dbw is having some permissions. You can see directory xr that is executable and read write. Write permissions only. So we are going to have full permission. So we are going to have full permission that is complete permission we need 777 as the code. So we provide chmod 777 the file name. So now we can see we can see more permissions are being given to the dbw folder. Now I am moving into the ch. Now I am moving to the dbw. Now open the dbw folder inside the html directory. Now we can see there is a folder name called config inside config there is a file name called config.inc.php.dist so this file has to be modified and renamed so i am copying all of the content in the file to a backup folder or like a backup file and i am renaming the real file to config.inc.php because it should have an extension of php 
so now down now open the file now open the excite website from where which we have downloaded the dbwa it is providing you instructions to follow you can see that's providing an option to provide mysql commands so there should be a database running in the background just type mysql minus u root then minus p so then it will ask for your user account password just provide that you can see create database okay actually here why i am getting this error because it is already been created but from your side it is for the first time so just follow this command so just copy the command and paste it there so if you are getting any error during mysql minus u root minus p command we can just type service mysql start so that will fix the error now we can see i am i am pasting the command that is create database dbwa from the website exactly like it is so you can follow these steps uh, even though i am getting an error like it's already been existed because i already done that so for your side is for the first time so you can follow this command so just provide all of the commands that is a mysql commands from the website and press sender so once you finish we can exit from that so now you can see i type you can see i provide the ip address 187.0.0.1 that is a loop back ip that is on my own ip address so the file which we have copied to html directory inside var and www so this file is a dead this file is running so if you are getting any error just type the command service apache to start while typing these commands we will fix the error so now we can see if you are getting this sort of error just reset the database then after the page is reloading now we can see error has been fixed so the default password is the admin and the password is password itself now you can see we have a list of options in the left side this is all vulnerabilities that we are going to cover so by working with this dbwa application we can understand various attacks like a sql injection brute forcing xss and all of us top 10 vulnerabilities so this for the first session in the upcoming in the upcoming videos we will cover more vulnerabilities and various types of attacks for more interesting videos just subscribe the channel